Welcome back to the channel, guys. We got a special episode and a special guest with Mitch from Handicap Golf, and today we're gonna be ranking our top five launch monitors under $5,000. Mitch, welcome to the show. Nice to be here, mate, nice to be here. Good to see you again. So how this is gonna work, we're gonna go back and forth. We're both gonna start with our fifth ranked launch monitor, and we're gonna give our opinion five through one, um, and that's pretty much it. Mitch, do you have anything to add? No, mate, it's, um, it's quite an interesting little thing. Uh, I, I think we're, with launch monitors becoming more and more affordable and there's so many options, especially from this year on the market, um, it'd be great to give people a rundown about what we think is good value for money and uh, basic, basically best bang for your buck. Yeah, and that's a good way to put it that I didn't add. We're going not necessarily the most accurate because that might not be the best overall. We're going for what do we think considering all these factors is the best of the best. Mitch, since you're the guest, I'll let you go first. What do you have as your fifth ranked launch monitor under $5,000? Right, at number five, I've gone for the Garmin R10. Now, the reason why I've put Garmin R10 at number five is because I feel like it is the best entry-level launch monitor. If you're interested in starting up a golf simulator and you don't have the biggest budget, then for like 500 pounds, $600, you can get access to uh, some amazing data, like accurate carry distances, accurate shot tracers, and also the ability to play some unbelievable golf simulator courses like the Golf Club 2019, uh, E6 Connect and even GS Pro. Yep, that's a great answer and that is actually my number five as well. So I was debating between the R10 and the Rapsodo, but the reason I went with the R10 is because there's no subscription fees with the R10. With that Rapsodo, I think it's about 200 a year and for their quality of accuracy, I just felt like the Rapsodo was too close to some of those other launch monitors in price to be worth it, but I think the Garmin R10, as some high up executives told me a couple weeks ago, it's as good as thirty to $40,000 golf simulators 10 years ago. So that just shows how far the simulator technology has come. And I think for just entry level, it's you know as good as it gets for the price. Mate, I took the Garmin R10 out to the driving range and I compared it against like real life um, shot shaping. So fades, draws, hooks, slices, all that jazz. And the R10 picked up the shot shape accurately almost every time. Yeah, it's an incredible device and that's one thing too. A lot of these you can take to the course and they work well and you can use inside. And the R10, those radar based launch monitors are great for outdoors and indoors. Right, number four, and it might surprise you, but I've actually gone for the original Skytrack, which is the launch monitor that I've owned for like the past three and a half, four years. Um, now, this was a tough one for me because I love the original Skytrack. Um, I think it is the perfect entry-level launch monitor if you're looking for the most consistent and accurate data, especially if you've got a small sim space like I have, um, you can't beat it. The accuracy of the data is so good and it gives you access to, again, the likes of the Golf Club 2019 and E6 Connect, but more importantly, GS Pro. Right, that's a good one. So for my number four, this is gonna be a little shock for some people. I'm going with the Unicore iMini. Now, the reason this is number four, this is the most expensive of all the units you could get, and I did not think it performed super well. Now, it is a newer launch monitor, so usually it takes a couple of months to get all the features and all the bugs sorted out, so I think it will be great later on, but I found it to be less accurate than some of the cheaper units that are gonna be higher up on this list, and on top of being less accurate, the customer support was very poor um, with every interaction I've had. And for me to be almost double the cost of some of the units that we're talking about and to not be as accurate as those units, that's why I ranked it number four. Now, I do think some of those things will get fixed, but at this point, that is why the iMini is at my fourth spot. Right, at number three, um this one I'm going for the Bushnell Launch Pro. Now, bear with me because you're thinking, Mitch, you're in the UK. We don't have access to the Bushnell Launch Pro, but we do have access to the GC3. And I've tried out the GC3, and honestly, 
this is going to be my launch monitor of choice when I can finally afford to get it because I thought it was fantastic. And obviously the GC3 and the Bushnell Launch Pro are the exact same unit. There's just different subscription models to both of them. I think it's got the most accurate data. It compares to its 20,000 pound um, big brother, the GC Quad just got one less camera so the data you know is going to be the most reliable data on the market from Foresight and Bushnell and also it's got its recent integration with GS Pro which I think just makes it a big game changer. Right I think that's huge as well and Mitch that is why the Bushnell Launch Pro is also my third. Now I think the caveat that we want to both point out is if we were just to rank units based on accuracy we would both probably agree that the Launch Pro is the most accurate of all the units the only issue with this is it almost gets an asterisk because it's under five thousand dollars but it's not really under five thousand dollars because the subscription fees are so high so like mitch said it is the same exact unit as the gc3 and for a lot of people if we had an unlimited budget we're going gc3 bushnell launch pro but the subscription fees are 750 a year so it's 500 for the gold subscription it is a 3500 dollars unit with club data and then people don't really like the courses on the um foresight software so usually you're going to get like a gs pro or an e6 so you're talking about adding a, another subscription on top of that so the fact that it's 3500 and then 750 dollars a year for me is the reason that it's number three even though it's such a great unit just because that is such a high cost for a launch monitor and even though it's technically under five grand in a couple of years it's going to be over that price just to add in there jock what i wanted to say was it's kind of a bit misleading really because like jock was saying it's it, it comes in at like a very cheap price for what the launch monitor actually is but really once you start adding the subscriptions on to be able to start playing courses and getting more data for the bushnell launch pro it becomes a lot more expensive so again that is the reason why it's at number three for me as well right coming in at second place for me um this was a close one, but I've gone for the Skytrack Plus. Now, the reason why I've gone for the Skytrack Plus is because I think it is a solid upgrade from the original Skytrack, given that you get a few little added features, plus you get club data now as well. So if you're trying to work on your golf game, you've got even more accurate data with the Skytrack Plus to help you groove your swing as much as you need to. But also one thing that I've not mentioned about Skytrack so far is I think that the software that you get with both Skytrack models is one of the best softwares on the market. You can get the access to the game improvement package, which includes loads of little skills assessments and games. And honestly, that was the one piece of software that has helped me get my handicap down to a much more reasonable level where I'm happier. And hey, our, our top five rankings are a little boring here because I have the we've had the same for the last couple of them. At number two, I also also have the Skytrack Plus. Now, I was super impressed with this unit. I had heard with the original Skytrack some issues with, you know, possibly driver not reading correctly and just a decent amount of comments on the internet with some issues on the original Skytrack. But when I tested out the Skytrack Plus, I was blown away. I think it is a great device and it is, I would say, tied for second on most accurate units which will really i'll give the other one in a little bit here but we had the bushnell launch pro as the most accurate i had skytrack plus as second accurate and i think it's a great device i think really between this and my number one it comes down to your setup a little bit if you have a tighter space kind of like mitch i think the skytrack plus is a great option if you are limited on space now the only downside that kept this from being i would say my number one or being tied for number one is the fact that there are subscription fees so skytrack plus if you want to play courses i believe it's 250 a year mitch correct yeah, me if that's i'm wrong right yeah 250 yeah, a right, year man. so you have that and then you would have to purchase if you want like a gs pro you go on top of that right the 250 only gets you 15 e6 courses i believe 
Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you get access to E6 Connect if you pay the 250 um, subscription, uh, which is unbelievable, by the way. I mean, I've not done a lot of work, a lot of review videos or anything on E6 Connect, but I've played it plenty of times. It is an unbelievable course simulator software. So if you're looking to get the SkyTrack Plus, definitely look into that little extra subscription to get access to E6, just to see how you like simulator software and playing simulator courses. And then if you want to upgrade further, I'd recommend GS Pro. But that's the little knock there, right? You're paying 250 a year to get 15 E6 courses, and then if you wanna get more courses, right, you're paying even more. So I think it's a great unit. I think it's priced affordably at 2,700 to 3,000. And then the only small downside for me was the subscription fee on top. Right, so my number one ranked launch monitor under $5,000 or 5,000 pounds. I've gone probably for the same same as you, Jack, but I've gone for the Flight Scope Mevo Plus. Now, some people who watch my channel might be a bit confused as to why I've gone for the Flight Scope Mevo Plus, but the one main reason why I've gone for this launch monitor over the likes of the SkyTrack and the SkyTrack Plus is just because Flight Scope just keep releasing update after update after update. They keep releasing add on after add on. It's so good how much data you can get now on what starts out as a budget launch monitor, you can actually turn that into something that rivals the higher end launch monitors like the Trackman and like the GC Quad. I just think that with the Flight Scope Mevo Plus, as long as you have the space to fit that launch monitor in your setup, you can't go wrong with it. That is coming in at my number one as well. And I have been, I'm an ambassador for Flight Scope, but I love this device with my whole heart. And one of the main reasons is because it allows lefties and righties to play easily. Because as a lefty, really, this is kind of the only easy option unless you want to go for like an Apogee or an overhead launch monitor that's insanely expensive. So a couple of things I love about the Mebo. Like Mitch said, their customer support is unmatched and their improvement is unmatched because two years ago this unit would probably be ranked at my number four but they continue to improve it and improve it and improve it and ever since they released the titleist rct ball update the fusion tracking update i have this as tied for my second most accurate launch monitor unit so when you combine all the things that the Mevo Plus has and you take the time to set it up correctly and I think that's very important because a lot of these other units like SkyTrack, it's pretty easy to turn it on, set it down and you're pretty good to go. Mevo Plus is very particular with how far back it sits, the tilt and roll, the type of ball. But once you get that down, the process takes a minute or two to set up once you have it set up in the first place. And at that point, it is an amazing device. And the Mevo Plus comes in at 1800. We have a discount code, code GOLFBUSTERS10, which will take a little bit off and that works perfectly with the courses and then if you want to get club data then you're talking like the $2,700 range kind of like the SkyTrack Plus but the benefit is you don't have any subscription fees so if you want to play your 10 free E6 courses then you have that you don't have to do anything else you have your unit and you're set for the long run and there's no extra cost up front yeah well I just want to add there Jock that that is a massive bonus of the Flight Scope Mevo Plus. Straight out of the box, you can play golf simulator courses. Like Jock said, there's no added subscription fees on top. Now, one little caveat that I will say is where I prefer the SkyTrack over the Mevo Plus is just the software, like I was saying. You do have to pay a subscription for the SkyTrack software, but with the Flight Scope Mevo Plus, you don't really have much of that game improvement feature side of the software, whereas with the SkyTrack, that's what you get. Um, I also love the fact how portable the Mevo Plus is. You can use it inside and you can easily take it outside. Just clip it onto your onto your golf bag, straight to the driving range, straight to the course, wherever you want. And you've got some insanely accurate numbers and data right when you want it. Right, that was mine and Jock's top five launch monitors under £5,000, $5,000. Now, if you're interested in any of these launch monitors, then check out the links in the description, especially if you're a UK viewer, check out my links. And then if you're a US viewer, head over to Jock's links. that are all going to be in the description down below. And stay tuned because coming up, we're going to have the best launch monitors under £10,000, $10,000 over on the Handicap Golf channel.